fireworks factory in Tamil Nadu. Sketchy details are still coming in at the moment. Reports suggest that at least 30 people could have been killed in that accident and over 100 are still trapped. That's the initial details that we are getting from Shivakashi where 30 workers at a cracker factory are feared to have been killed in a blaze and several more are reported trapped. <laughs> In fact, a short while back, we spoke to SP of Virudhanagar, Najmoon Suda. Let's listen in to what details he gave us. Work factory. Uh, so far, about 20 people are dead. Uh, but the toll could uh, go up. As uh, those who could have died inside, we are unable to verify as to how many uh, did actually die. Because we are unable to enter the factory premises as the blasts are still going on and there is one big magazine which still remains unexploded which can explode any time uh, so we are unable to approach the place and enter the premises right uh, so but, uh, re but yes, most sir. of the people who died were actually the onlookers who had uh, come there uh, seeing the first outbreak of the fire then uh, a magazine exploded and the impact was so severe that the stones which are uh, strewn here and there, they flew in the air and hit them. Right. So, Mr. Huda, you're telling us uh, most of the people who died so far are the onlookers who had gathered, gathered there after the fire initially broke out. There were also reports of how this fire has now spread uh, to go down area. Could you just elaborate a little more on how this fire has spread and what is being done to contain it? Uh, look, uh, the fire has not uh, spread beyond the premises of this factory, which includes everything, magazine, go down, etc. Uh, but uh, we have been unable to go inside with the fire tenders because the explosions and blasts are still going on. Right, you're telling us there explosions and blasts are still going on. You're saying there, there is a magazine which could uh, explode any moment right now. Uh, what are the emergency services that have been pressed into action? How are you trying to contain this fire, sir? I have requisitioned all the fire tenders from my district, that is Rutanagar, and the neighboring uh, uh, Madurai district. Likewise, I have requisitioned all the ambulances. Uh, we are uh, carting people away who have been injured. Some of them may be dead. Some of them may still be alive. I hope they are alive. Uh, we have been carting them to hospital. Uh, our fire tenders are ready here uh, to enter the premises. So as soon as it is safe for the personnel, to begin the work, we would move in. Right, so as we know, uh, Sivakasi is of course one of the biggest uh, manufacturing hubs of firecrackers in India. Uh, Prama Fesai, Fesai, does it appear that there were some norms that were being flouted? I cannot confirm that, but uh, uh, yeah, if there is an accident, there could have been something amiss. Right, and at this point, uh, I know it might be a little premature, but uh, would we know what exactly triggered this fire? What could have been the cause of fire uh, from the eyewitness accounts? No, madam, no one knows for sure. Right, so tell us a bit more about the unit where this fire broke out. Uh, how big is it? How many people are employed here? Uh, more than 300 people are employed here. How many people so were uh, possibly there in the, in, in, in the factory unit when the fire actually broke out, sir? Uh, the fire broke out at about 12.30, so that is the busy hour of the day. But when, uh, as, as uh, <coughs> reports have trickled in, when the first fire broke out, most of the people came out. But still some people could be trapped inside. Right, so Mr. All right, my colleague Premada now joins us for more. Uh, Premada, first tell us more about the ground situation. Uh, what, where does the death toll stand? Because the SP told us there is fear that more people could still be trapped in the blaze. Well, what we are hearing is there could be like five more bodies that they have, uh, they could have recovered. So it should, the, the number should be going up to 35 and probably more because there are 100 persons who are still trapped inside the factory and the fire tenders have not been able to reach and completely douse the fire. They are not able to enter the area because once they start pouring fire water, there are chances that the explosions could happen, more explosions could happen. And that is the reason why the police are very, very carefully handling this issue. So 
there are hun- more than 100 to 150 persons who are apparently trapped inside the factory. So really an alarm- alarming situation. Uh, at least 40 to 50 of them have been admitted in the hospital with uh, serious burn injuries. They are also getting treatment. Some of them are also being taken to the Madurai General Hospital, one of the bigger hospitals, which is three hours from Shivakasi. So logistics, the temperature, the climate around and also the structure in which the, uh, the factory is built and also the explosives that are present inside the factory. All these factors are really hampering the rescue operations right now.